thought he did some really good things early on. I think he made some young quarterback mistakes in the in the second half, literally in a, like a minute and thirty second time period. Um, things that are definitely correctable, but um, I guess inopportune time, you know. But he'll get it. It's just a matter of time. It's good learning experience for him. Uh, unfortunately, it was part of. It wasn't all of it. It was part of. A big part, but it was only part of. You know, we we played clean football in the first half. The penalties kind of disappeared. It was really uh, there was no no turnovers. It was clean football to beat a team that you know is a national championship contender. You have to play clean football for 60 minutes. You have to do some things that you know be a little aggressive and be able to cash in on those things and. And that's kind of where we were in the first half, but in the second half, uh, it was, you know, the roof caved in there a little bit in that time period, and it was, uh, you know, it's hard to hard to go back and catch up. To, to fall on that, it, he's had an interception in six of his last seven games. It's starting to become a trend. Is that just part of the growing pains of a young quarterback, or does that raise any concerns about his long-term, you know, viability as a starting quarterback? No, I think it's learning as a young quarterback. Yeah. Especially when you're doing it against, you know, one of the top defenses in America. Yeah, I think, you know, we couldn't have done what we did in the first half back in September. So we've definitely gotten better, but not good enough to beat that team. But we're getting better. Um, uh, there's no, I have no, no doubt about that. It's just not better enough. Greg, is that is that first half kind of what you want this thing to look like, your team overall? I mean, the way you play, the way the defense played, complementary football, is that? Uh, to some degree. I think, you know, I think we got to run the football, though. You know, we were we were unable to run the football tonight. Um, we just didn't run a lot of plays, period. But we didn't run the football enough well, right? So when you're throwing and running and hamming and egging it, that's the way I'd like to see it. And we didn't do that. So... But playing clean and, and, and playing with a, with an edge, yes. I guess just when you're playing a team like that, I mean, and kind of they start to get the lead, start to get the momentum. I mean, how tough is it because they're so good just to kind of get it back and even kind of you know get the train back on the tracks? I guess you could say. Yeah, you know, it's it's hard, especially when you turn it over three times in consecutive manner like that. You know, because then all of a sudden you're looking up in the the mountain's pretty steep. Um, I thought our guys really, really committed this week in practice to, they knew what this challenge was. And I think we painted a, a really clear path for them how we could do it, but what we had to do to have an opportunity to win that game at the end. And that was the, that was the whole plan. If we could get it to the fourth quarter in the last six minutes, that we, had a, we thought we had a good opportunity to win the game. Um, but we didn't do that. Bit of, bit of a footnote, I guess, in the whole thing. But Timmy Ward scoring that first touchdown, all he's been through getting to that point. I mean, what is it like for you as a coach to see him kind of have that moment? Yeah, it's really uh, heartwarming because you're right. He has been through a lot uh, to even be playing college football, no less at a Big Ten program. And Timmy, <coughs> excuse me. Timmy has become a guy on our special teams that, you know, he's very calm and he makes some of our checks for us, which uh, sounds like a little thing, but, you know, special teams, you don't spend as much time as you do on offense and defense on special teams. So you need a guy or two that can really just kind of keep things calm and make the decisions out there. And he's, he's growing into that, which is, you know, important for us. Talked a lot about seeing this team better at the end of the season than the beginning. I mean, are you starting to see that in certain ways, or is it is it overshadowed by the fact when when you turn off the ball like that? Well, it can be overshadowed, right? That's my job as the coach to recognize and show these guys where they're making growth because it would really be it could really be demoralizing. You just look at the final score and you come in here tomorrow and they're sitting in these seats where you're sitting and um, you know get up there and start telling them why we didn't win the game. There's things they did very very well. But as I said earlier, we're much better than we were in September, but we're not better enough to beat that team. 
they're a really good football team. You know, they're topping just about every statistical statistical category. And, uh, you know, they play with an edge. Okay, thank you.